English and other languages so right. that the Bible can go around the world and right. one day the children of God wake up and understand that they are the Jews, the Israelites. The so-called Negroes are the real Jews of the Bible. That's right. Did you now, know I know when y'all probably, when y'all look like y'all probably got a so-called Jew in y'all families, right? Some Jewish. No. You're Jewish? Right. But did you know Jew, to be a Jew, that's a, that's an actual nationality. You have to be a Jew from by blood. And it's not according to your mother. No, I know that. Right. Like, I just like, I mean, obviously I didn't grow up with it, but it's something I like learned to like love. That's right, right. She didn't go to my life all like, okay. Yeah. So the heathens, they are going to uh, cleave into the household of, of Israel, right? But let me, let's, let us show you who the real Jews are. Yeah. Like, yeah, if I say like you being childish, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. childish, it's like you're being like a child, but you're not really a child. So the so-called Jewish is like a Jew. They took our laws, but they're not really Jews. Let's see what the Bible says about them. So this is uh, Revelations 2 and 9. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. You're not talking about the so-called Jewish man, because the so-called Jewish man runs the entire world. They finance the slave trade. They own Hollywood. They own uh, the damn... Uh, What's it, the pornography rings? They own the, the music industry. They own everything. Mark Zuckerberg, Jerry Seinfeld, uh, uh, Steven Spielberg, all of them are billionaires. He's not talking about them. Read it again, Ken. It says, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I you talking to us. We're, we've been in tribulation, we're in poverty, but we're really rich. It's the kingdom. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews in or not. So some people won't be walking around here saying that they're Jews, but they're really not. What are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. They are the chief house of Satan. Did you know that the, in, the, in the Talmud, right? That's the Jewish Bible. The Talmud, do y'all know what the Talmud is? In the Talmud, y'all believe in Jesus? In the Talmud, you can Google it. The, the, the so-called Jews, they say that Jesus is boiling in hot shit in the Talmud. Did you know that? So your Jewish friends, it's the reason why they reject the New Testament. They think that your so-called Messiah is boiling in hot shit. But everybody thinks that we're, we're, we're with you. We believe his name is not Jesus, his name is Yahweh But we believe he is the same for Israel. Only Israel. Israel is actually these people. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true Israelites in the Bible. Give me Je uh, uh, Jeremiah 14 and 2, King. You don't mind. You got one? Come, come. Come. Matthew. This is Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name, and say, Thou here's Jesus, for he shall save his people. You mean all people? His people. White people? His people. Black people. His people from their sin. That is what? That's that sin. His people. Meaning it, not everybody. He didn't say everybody. But you go to church, they're going to say he came to die for everybody. But the Bible says he come to save his people. Come. So let's see who his people are. This is Matthew chapter 2 verse 6. And thou in Bethlehem in the land of Judah are not the least among the princesses of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. You mean Europe? Israel. You mean Pakistan? Israel. My people, Israel. Israel. Christ is coming to say, and it, the Bible is explaining, his people is Israel. That's right. The first verse, it says that he's coming to save his people from their sins. The second verse says, his people is defined as Israel. We're showing y'all the Israelites are the people that are in slavery and captivity even until this day. That's right. Nobody said, hey, we fucked up. Our ancestors did y'all wrong. Let's take y'all back to where we got y'all from. 
we're still here captive in this lane, right? right. Jeremiah uh, 14 and 2. Check this out. What the Bible actually said. And all you got to do is open up the Bible and you'll understand that everything that we were taught was a lot. After that, I'm going to get uh, Jeremiah 16, 19. This is Jeremiah. Old Testament. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, how y'all doing? Started uh, Obama. The word of the Shalom, Lord God. that came to Jeremiah. Shalom. What's up with you, King? Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, King. Come in with us. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. So I know. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Shalom. Shalom. The word, Jeremiah 14, verse 1. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah concerning the, the dark. Judah's mourning in the gates thereof language. The Bible says Judah is mourning. The Jews, Judah, the Jew is a derivative of the word Jew. I mean, Jew, Jew is a derivative of the word Jew. So if you're from Judah, you're a Jew, right? That's the so-called Negro. It right. said the Jews are in mourning. Uh, in, in the gates of our uh, language. The gates are our protection, our leadership language. We don't have any leadership. The so-called black man has no representative. We can't go to the United Nations and say, hey, what's going on with my people? Y'all ain't giving us our right, none of that. Nobody represents the black man positively. LeBron James, Cardi B, you know what I mean? So it says our, our, our gates language, right? They are black unto the ground. You mean olive color. They are black unto the ground. Middle Eastern, they are black unto the ground. They black. The Jews are black. Give me Joe. Oh, 16 and 19. 16 and 19. Jeremiah 16 and 19 will explain what happened, y'all. This is what happened to y'all. Check this out. Oh, Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth. Are y'all Gentiles? Y'all, what are y'all? Either a Jew or a Gentile, right? Uh, you're Gentiles, right? So what, start from the top. No, start from the Gentiles. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth. He said, y'all going to come to the Lord from the ends of the earth. What they going to do? And shall say, surely our fathers have inherited lies. They inherited the truth. They inherit lies. Uh -huh. Vanity and things therein, there is no profit. The Gentiles are going to say, we've inherited lies. At the end, they go, y'all going to figure out, damn, we fucked up. We were told that we were the people. We were told that we were the best thing on God's green earth. We were told that them black people, they were niggers and they were nothing. It's, you've been tricked. You've been fooled. You've been fooled. This happened to the children of God. Right? Oh, why are you? It's in the box Old Testament. Like Old Testament, right? 2868. This is the book of Deuteronomy 2868. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord said, he, it, it, the Bible says the Israelites are going to go back into Egypt, which is synonymous with slavery, because the Israelites were in slavery in Egypt. He said, I'm going to put you back in slavery with ships. With ships. By the way thereof I spoke unto thee. Uh -huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. You ain't going to see your homeland ever again. Thou shalt not see it no more again. And thy ye shall be sold unto your enemies for by man and by women. Sold unto your friends. Sold unto your enemies for by men and by women. Sold unto your neighbors. Sold unto your enemies for by men and by women. Uh -huh. And no man shall buy you. How can you be sold but nobody buy you? How can you be sold and nobody buy you? You understand what that means? That's a Hebraic term that means nobody's going to redeem you. Nobody's going to save you once you're sold. Nobody's going to get you out. Japan didn't come over here and say, hey, what y'all doing with them Negroes, man? What y'all doing with them Africans? What, what, get them out of there. Why y'all doing that? Nobody checked on us, even to this day. Nobody. Nobody has come and said, that's fucked up. Give, take them people back to where they, nobody. Nobody. This is the book of Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone that hangeth. On a tree. Huh. No race of who, who was hung on a tree? That's a big the so-called black man, right? But Christ was hung on a tree too, wasn't he? Wasn't he? They only hang black men on trees. Christ is a so-called black man. In the Renaissance, 1492, when y'all came into power, y'all came back into power in the 1400s, and y'all started painting, uh, painting over the black images of Christ, the true images. Before that, the whole world knew that Christ and all of his people were so-called Negroes. Not Africans, but Negroes. They look like Africans, but they aren't. Huh. Book of Acts, chapter 13, 
And I'm going to bring it out and show you that they never read it to you in church, right? Let's see what it says. Now, that were in church uh, that was in Antioch, certain prophets and teachers. Mm -hmm. Right? Prophets and teachers in the church. Okay. Okay. As Barnabas and Simeon, that was called nigger. They were called what? Called nigger. They were called. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that. That's in your Bible. Now, y'all going to say that says Niger, right? <laughs> yeah, well, they, they tell lies. They, they tell lies. They, they don't tell the truth. Christ never entered a church building. Can you find out what time Christ no. entered a church building? Did he ever eat pork? Did he ever celebrate Christmas, birthdays, Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving? He never celebrated. Can I try yeah, you know, you can. I just want to say, you know, yeah. I don't think that I, I agree with um, organized church. Yeah. The one thing that I'm a proponent of is mm -hmm. reading straight scripture and uh, applauding right. you gentlemen. That's right. That's why oh, we, yeah. Yeah. Say, well, yeah. we don't yeah. speak of our own private interpretation. We come from the Bible itself. It speaks for itself. The That's Bible right. says, what's that, 1 Peter 4 and 11, where he says, speak with the oracles of God. That's so right. We got to use this. We can't say our own feelings and say, well, this is what I believe. You're not going to hear us say that. We're going to talk to you, and then we're going to pull the precept. And we're going to show you, thus saying the Lord. That's so right. They don't do that today in these churches. Yeah, so what they teach is a false like doctrine. Because did yeah. you know that we ain't even supposed to celebrate uh, uh, birthdays? The Lord, the Lord hate birthdays. But don't we celebrate? We get kids and stuff and we celebrate. The Lord hates it. But at the chapter that he hates the assembly, he hates when churches gather. The song if you go to Amos uh, 21 and, and uh, 5 and 21 and read that, where he said, I'm not going to listen to your music. When you lift your hands, I'm not accepting it. Because America has done the baddest thing to ever do with a nation on earth is to take God's people here who are still here today, change them and put them in the church. names from these are the 18 nations right here. Let me show you something right there. These are the names, now tell me, where did these names go from? They all in the Bible. Who changed the names of these right here? Who did it? The this Lord made 18, 18 names. 18 names, this all in the Bible. Now we have to see the words on change. Who changed the truth into a lie? Who said no longer these names are us? We're going to change all these names. Guess what? Who did that? We're going to say white, black, you know, and then everybody else will be in the middle somewhere. So you can't understand what the Bible says about you can't understand what the Bible is saying and who is who. So now it's a free for all and, and, and hey, it, it, you won't think you're doing a righteous thing when you kill a black man. You put on a hood and throw a bomb in a church and kill four little black women. You know, they gonna think, oh, they're black. That does that means nothing. If you call yourself black or white, that means, what well, white actually means that, you know, that's positive. But black means you're devoid of anything good. Yeah. Leo Africanus, he conquered Africa, named it after himself. Mario Vespucci, he named it after Right? So this is the truth that's been given. The reason why we don't call him Jesus, because his name is not Jesus, because the letter J was not invented until 1524. You can Google that and find out. So what was his name before they made the letter J? Because the letter J is not in the Paleo Hebrew alphabet. So what is his name? The Paleo Hebrew can read right to left. You don't do like America, left to right. In Paleo Hebrew, his name is Yahweh Shai. Right? So these secrets are 